Hi there and welcome to another Pixel Care video. As you all know, sorcery is the central theme of Update 3.0 and also a major new addition to the game. Many of you have anticipated this feature for a long time and are eager to begin this new journey into power and darkness. And in order to help you on the way to becoming a sorcerer as soon as possible, we will guide you through the first steps needed. Keep in mind that there is of course a whole lot more to learn and discover when it comes to sorcery, and this is a guide to get you started on that journey. Let's get going! In order to learn basic sorcery, you need to find a tome that holds this mysterious knowledge. To get a clue about the whereabouts of this tome, your best bet is to venture out into the world and search for sorcerers that have moved into the Exide Lands. You can find them at various camps throughout the world. Kill them and you might loot a satchel that contains a dead sorceress map. This map will guide you to the location of the tome. If you enjoy exploring and discovering things by yourself, be warned. Tome location and further spoilers ahead. Ok, let's have a look at the map. If you know the Exide Lands well, you will most likely recognize the area right away. The location points to Shaleback Hollow, a cave within E5. By the way, Sorcery is also available on the Isle of Septa. Once at the entrance, you'll have to fight your way deeper into the cave, past Undead Shalebacks. At the far end, you'll find a dark, eerie chamber with a table at its center. Interact with a book and you'll learn basic sorcery as well as two spells. Ice Bridge and Reveal Corruption. You also receive the Tome of Kurak, an arcane staff and five burlap pouches. Check your knowledge page and select the sorcery tab to see what you have learned. A recipe for the arcane stuff, thaumaturgy bench, the two spells, as well as several pouches. The arcane stuff is needed as focus to cast your spells. The thaumaturgy bench can be built with a construction hammer and will be your go-to workstation for sorcery related items. And the pouches serve as regions for casting various spells. So how do you cast the first two spells you have learned? First of all, you need to equip the arcane staff you received from interacting with the book in the cave. If you lose it, you can craft it again at the thaumaturgy bench. The staff is not a weapon per se, but a tool that lets you focus your magic. Use the staff and it will present you with runes that represent different realms of sorcery. For now, you have access to two realms. Once you select one of the runes with the arcane staff, you can also hear the corresponding words of power. Legas. You can now see all the spells you know in this category. Select the rune for reveal corruption. As you can see, the spell is now active. It lasts for 5 minutes, but you must keep the staff equipped, otherwise the spell will be cancelled. Using the staff instead of your regular weapon will of course make you more vulnerable, so spells should be used with caution and preparation. Let's try the other spell you learned. It's part of a different realm of sorcery, the forces of nature. Use your staff and select the other rune this time. Sure. It's the spell for Ice Bridge. This spell also requires a region to be casted, a burlap pouch. You received five of them in the cave, so let's go. Casting powerful spells like this one is causing your character to gain corruption. The stakes for meddling with these dark forces are high. The ice bridge is great for accessing otherwise hard to reach places. It lasts only a few moments though, so you need to be careful or using it might end up being deadly. Now that you have developed a taste for sorcery, the question is, how do you learn more spells? 
New spells are learned one at a time by upgrading your Tome of Korok at the Thaumaturgy Bench. You can craft the bench with the Construction Hammer. It's listed in the Sorcery category under the Crafting Stations tab. Open the bench and select the recipe for the Tome of Korak on the right hand side. This can be a bit confusing and isn't very intuitive. We initially thought the recipe simply lets us craft a new tome, the same we received when learning basic sorcery. However, this is actually a recipe to upgrade your tome and to learn a new spell. The items required for the recipe are fairly easy to get initially but this will get more challenging as you progress. One of the required ingredients is always a sorcerer spell page. So where do you get these? Remember the sorcerers who could drop the map that we showed you at the beginning? Every time you kill a sorcerer, there is a chance for them to drop a sorcerer spell page. Pages can occasionally also be found within the world. That can be in random places or nearby sorcerers, so be on the lookout. The sorcerers often drop failed sorcerer spell pages as well. Don't throw them away just yet, as they can be used in a different recipe. Once you have all the ingredients required, it's time to upgrade your tome and learn a new spell. You can see the look of your bench changes and indicates the progress of your tome. Let's see what we got. We have learned a new word of power, Bloodrite. This comes along with a recipe for a new regent and a sacrificial stone. It's definitely getting darker. We have also learned two new spells for wisps, which can either illuminate your path or an area. As well as Soul Drain, another ritual for the new sacrificial stone. More spells can be unlocked one by one by upgrading your Tome of Korok further. As mentioned previously, the more powerful spell tiers you unlock, the more advanced ingredients are required for the recipe. You can see that the recipe ingredients have changed for the next upgrade. In case you are wondering, the Thaumaturgy Bench will always show only one tome recipe, no matter how many upgrades you have already done. But the tooltip of the actual tome will indicate that it can be further upgraded. One more thing regarding the sorcerer spell pages that are required for your upgrades. While you can get them by killing sorcerers and as loot within the world, there is an alternative way to actually create them. This requires once again sorcerers, but this time you'll need to capture them like a troll and put them to work in your bench. As soon as you have put your sorcerer into the Thaumaturgy bench, you can see two additional research recipes. Both recipes allow you to craft sorcerer spell pages. One uses 10 failed sorcerer spell pages, and the alternative recipe uses a papyrus scroll, sacrificial blood, and an inking brush. This one can occasionally also produce a failed page. Whether you find these recipes useful will highly depend on how easily you have either of these ingredients available to you, but at least there is an option. Before we wrap up this starter guide to becoming a sorcerer, just a few teasers for what comes next. There are a lot more spells to learn and sorcerer specific items to craft, so keep upgrading your tome and discovering. It's an exciting journey. Your Thaumaturgy Bench also serves as a workstation for the new illusion system that allows you to change the appearance of gear and weapons. As previously mentioned, casting spells does come at a cost. One are the regions, of course, like the various pouches. While you learn how to craft pouches with basic sorcery, they can occasionally also be found as loot. The other cost is the corruption of your character. You can cleanse the corruption as usual, but keep in mind that more powerful spells require a higher level of corruption. Furthermore, once you gain a certain threshold of corruption, you also have the option to corrupt your attributes. This will cause a percentage of your corruption to be permanent and uncleansable and lowers your health and stamina significantly. However, you also become insanely powerful. Speaking of corruption, the higher your corruption, the more extreme your character becomes visually corrupted. 
If you're all into the evil sorcerer look, then this is for you. Luckily, there is an option to hide this effect if you want to. And that's it for our starter guide and the teasers for what lies ahead. We hope we could help you with the first steps of mastering the dark arts. Check back on our channel for more guides on the topic, other additions and features of update 3.0. If you like what we do, please leave us a thumbs up, subscribe and even hit that bell.